decided let's just have a little stop here, shall we? Yeah, it's a perfect little spot. Okay. Let's get myself organised. Okay, well, you can see the overall look without the um, awful number plate hanger on the back. The number plate hanger was okay uh, until I put a bloody number on it. And then it just looked shit, because it was just a great big white number on the back. Now, as you can see, let's see if we can get a detailed, bit more of a detailed look. Um, these are the original indicators that I used. There were some brackets that came with this uh, tail tidy specific for the 660, and it did fit. Um, but being a flipped tail tidy, the problem I had when I flipped it, which is held on by some pretty strong magnets. When it was in the normal position, um, it wouldn't flip, because you can see that there's hardly any clearance there. So you can't flip it as you're going along. But now that is with your number showing, okay? And there's clearance enough for the, for the wheel to go underneath. And as you can see, that's the look. Obviously, forget about that tube that's on there. That's like a tax disc. We've got some very high-powered magnets on there. Now, all this fitted quite nicely. These brackets, um, they weren't particularly very good. The one I got, they were a bit short, and the hole in there wasn't big enough to cater for the original indicators. Now you can buy, when you buy this, you can buy as an extra, uh, it's another, I don't know, 20 quid, 500 baht or something, um, to uh, uh, have their indicators on. LED ones, but I just thought, well, I might as well use my standard indicators. Obviously I had to take the wire off Obviously, I had to take the wiring out of this conglomeration that was hooked onto this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. Um, this kind of bracket here. I know there are replacements that you can buy, but I haven't got round to that yet. I might just even leave it as it is. It doesn't really bother me. Um, so, yeah, I had to chase... I, when I took this off, the indicators were on this... Thing on the back here I like to chase the wires back and in fact the wire is this one right here if you can see that and then obviously I ran the wire up up under the seat so with the flipped obviously you can have it like that great fantastic police don't seem to mind if they stop you all they do is when they stop you is they just that's quite a strong magnet. They just flip it out and then they can see your number and then you kind of ride around the corner and fucking flip it back again. So, yeah, the wiring uh, just nips in here. I had to drill just a tiny little hole here, as you can see, um, with a little bit of, um, yeah, just a tiny drill, just so that wire didn't pinch when you put all this rear section back on. Uh, it fit perfectly underneath. It was a perfect fit underneath here. There's a bracket that goes inside. So you've got a metal bracket inside. Got a little spacer there, look, as you can see. I had to kind of modify it a little bit to how I wanted it. If I, you can buy one that's not flipped. And then obviously it's so much easier to fit. But because I wanted mine to be flipped, see, I had to bend the number a little bit here. I had to bend this number a little bit. So when I had it in this position, it would clear this. 
I had to put the number you can see look you've just got a little tiny bit here I'll put this bolt in to stop it ding ling 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 rattling I mean normally you would have this down a bit lower but but then you can't flip it because it it snags on the wheel so to give me clearance I had to bend that a little bit and lift the number up on the bracket here so but so much nicer it okay so as you can see the you probably can't see but the wire for all the lights and everything and it just plugs back in you know obviously you unplug it to unfeed it from everywhere but there's shag all room in here you can't fit anything in here but the other thing I did I bought a bit of webbing this this stuff and then drilled a hole in it doubled it up drilled a hole in it now that the reason I've done that obviously you can fold those in and then they're hidden but there what I do is I've got a little metal uh, like a carabiner I can put that in there a little metal carabiner which I can screw up it's only a very small one about that sort of size and then I've got something I can strap my luggage to on the rear because unfortunately these which I was hoping to use uh, as uh, something to connect the luggage to as you can see they're angled down so when you tie the luggage say on here um, it, the, the, it tend to slip down so eventually the luggage ended up slipping down so with this it prevents the whole luggage moving forward now I have seen, I'll see if I can put a picture on now that to me looks absolutely fantastic the overall look how's about that guys I think it's a lovely looking motorbike it's a proper looking motorbike in my eye it's very old school yeah it just looks nice tidy compact nice little engine yeah bloody good little bike freaking love it